Hi, this is Dave from VideoFXUniverse.com and today's tutorial is in 3D Studio Max 9 where I will be showing you how to create animatable water. Now this is not using any of the um, expensive plugins such as Dreamscape or anything like that. Okay, so what we want to do first is select a plane and drag it into the top viewport. Okay, rotate it so that the edges aren't shown on the perspective. Okay. Press M to bring up your materials. In the reflection, we want to select ray trace. Uh, there it is. Okay. Make sure it's set to environmental settings. Come out and set the reflection down to about 70. In the bump, we want to choose noise. If I can find that noise. Okay. Change the size to 8. Change it to fractal. Now we want to turn on auto key. Okay, at frame zero, set a keyframe, scroll right to the end, and change the phase to around about 15. Okay, and set a keyframe again. Now, if, as you see, as you're moving back, this is changing. Okay, this changes, and you can see it goes back to zero. Right, turn off auto key, come out of that. What we want to do now is put our specular level right up and our glossiness up to. Now we need to assign a material. I'm going to select a kind of blue colour, nice deep blue. And I'm also going to put the specular level right up here so it's white. And now I'm going to assign it to the plane. Okay. Right, let's just do a quick render to see what we come back with. And there you go. As you can see at this moment, it doesn't look that um, effective. So what we need to do is um, add in some um, you know, background so that it can be reflected on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, create a cylinder. Okay, drag that in and up. I'm going to move that so it's centered and bring it down a little bit. I'm also going to go into my modify panel and select normal. Now what I'm going to do is select a background. So I'm going to click on the next slot and click on my maps and I'm going to select um let's find a good one. Um, that one I do open and I'm going to apply it to the cylinder I'm going to make sure it's viewable in the viewport I'm also going to make my colour to 100 so that lights and shadows do not affect it ok now what I'm going to do is select an omni light if I just go into my lights ok put that there Select Ray Trace Shadows. Bring that up. Um, I'm going to bring down the intensity a little bit by about 0.8. And I'm also going to add an effect. So Atmospherics and Effects. I'm going to click Add. Uh, lens Effects. OK. And if I just move down. Setup and I'm going to glow. OK, I'm going to pick my light which is going to be the Omni. I think the default settings should be fine so before I update that I'm just going to add a sphere into the scene. And I'm just going to have it so that it's just sitting on the sphere, on, on, the, um, on the plane, sorry. Um, I'll also give this a nice material as well. I'll just give this a, um, I don't know, I'll give it a chrome material. So I'm going to go into my maps, uh, reflection, ray trace. Okay. Um, I'm going to select a reflective material for it. 3D Max, uh, 
material libraries, uh, reflection, okay. This one will do. Apply it to the sphere. And I'll come out of there. What I'll do is turn up the glossiness and the specular colour. I'm also going to bring this right down so it's nice and dark. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to update the scene for the glow and see what we come back with now. And there you have it. We have um, a complete watery background <coughs> with um, with a sphere floating on it and a shadow. Now, obviously, from this still image, you can't really pick out the um, the waves moving, but they are actually animating. So, if I move to the last frame here, and if I render it again, you should notice that there is actually quite a change in um, in the waves that they've actually moved. Okay, so just check this out. Yes, as you can see from the second render, it's actually quite, it's moved quite a lot. Okay, so obviously your water won't really have an effect unless you've got a background to, um, to, to add to it. Okay, it will just look very flat and look very boring. But once you've added a, um, you know, a nice background to it, it will reflect the background and it will look like a nice shimmering um, sea. Okay, and that's basically the tutorial. My name's Dave from VideoFXUniverse.com. Uh, please visit the site, um, join the forum. And I shall speak to you soon. Bye.